All right, well, back happy Sunday. We are back for our next week. Uh, we have another exciting week. I'm super pumped about these workouts as we lead into the Open. I think it starts in two weeks. Um, so hope you guys are rested up and feel good and you're ready to attack it again because we've got some really fun Metcons. And I kind of like the flow of things this week. We're definitely progressing a little bit more of our endurance and conditioning work. Um, so it should be pretty intense and pretty fun. So make sure, again, we're resting. Uh, we're taking care of our body before and after workouts. We're eating good food. We're drinking enough water. And if you don't know how to do that, luckily for you, we have our six-week nutrition coaching special going on. Um, there's only five spots remaining, and they will fill up very, very fast. So if you want to sign up, message me, comment below, uh, get with me, and I'll get you uh, sent over to Coach Megan, and she will link you up with your coach. Okay, so Monday... It's a little different day. We're just going to work on, again, some interval work, some endurance work, some pacing work, and then some uh, volume work on some shoulder overhead. And then we haven't done burpee box jump overs in a few weeks, and I really, really miss them, so I wanted to bring them back just for you guys. You're welcome. I know how much you love them, um, as do I. So these are both four sets. Uh, you're going to have a three-minute working interval and a 60-second rest interval. So you're going to do four sets of the first one. We're going to get about a four-minute rest, essentially, and then we're going to do the second set um, which is the exact same setup. So for big classes, you're either probably going to start on either A or B, depending on how many people are in class. We do have 10 working bikes, so we can split them up 10 and 10. If you have more than 20 people in the class, obviously, we're going to probably have two groups starting on A, uh, water falling two minutes behind, and then two groups starting on B, starting two minutes behind. So definitely has enough time to work with big classes. Uh, keeping in mind, we do need to make sure on all of these, if we are in big classes, the, the calories are meant to be done in less than two minutes. That way we can run the intervals every two minutes and nobody uh, misses out on the workout. So big thing to start with this workout, choose appropriate calories. They should be there to add fatigue. Obviously, they should be a challenging number to reach in that 90 second to two minute, inter two minute interval, but we shouldn't be having to go max effort to get there because we aren't gonna be fully recovered in the 60 seconds after the first set, right? First set might be great, right? You're pacing it out, right? High intensity, wonderful. Um, but if we don't, uh, we aren't able to complete these calories in like that 80% effort range, then after this first round, we're never gonna get them done in that two minute window, and then it's gonna run into other people's workout. So um, pick a good calorie count for you, or cap yourself at about a minute 45 so that you can hop off, you can transition. Because realistically, if we're tired after a minute 45 on the bike or the rower or the bike, you're not going to go right to the movement and start, right? We're going to probably get chalk or we're going to shake it out. Or we're going to rest until about two minutes, right? So we want to have a, a minimum of one minute to work on these movements. So that means we need to be realistically getting off the machine in 90 seconds to a minute 45. Okay, so pick appropriate calories there. The first one is rowing. And then we're going to do uh, max shoulder to overhead. So we want to choose a weight that is movable. We're probably going to have time. If you have a minute on the uh, on the uh, the AMRAP, you probably can sneak out two really good sets. So we want to have a movement that we can probably crank out 8 to 10 on the first one at least. Drop, quick break, and pick it up. And then whatever time we have left, we can do some more reps, right? If you are getting this done closer to 90 seconds, you may have time to sneak in three sets. Um, but I don't think we should be using a barbell weight um, that is going to – have us do less than five or, or less than eight to ten reps on our first set, right? It should be still movable, dip drive the legs. You probably want to push jerk, right, to save your shoulders in the long run, but it still should be a pretty comfortable, movable weight. Heavy enough to where we have to obviously breathe and, and use correct uh, shoulder overhead form. Shouldn't be something so light that you can just like rip push presses out, like do 30 in a row. Um, so challenge yourself a little bit there. That way you do have time to kind of break, reset, and then get back to it. Okay, so score here is shoulder to overhead. So we do three minutes on, a minute off, and we're going to do that four times. So a lot of shoulder to overhead volume. Really, really good work here, right? And then we rest, and we'll do the exact same setup here. Calories on the bike, and then we're going to do max burpee box jump overs, right? So this one is probably going to be a little bit more muscular. Obviously, your heart rate's going to be super high um, from the rowing and then the dynamic movement of the shoulder overhead. But this here is definitely 100% all heart rate and quads, right? Calories on the bike is all legs and, and heart rate, and then burpees are all heart rate. So um, just be prepared for this one to, to gas you up a little bit more. It's also why I put it second, so you can kind of just finish the workout with the more taxing thing um, and empty the tank that way. But again, 90 seconds to a minute 45, and then we're picking a uh, cruise pace on our burpee box jump overs just to keep ourselves moving the entire time. So super exciting Monday. If you have questions, let me know. If not, we'll see you in the gym. Ready for another awesome week. Wolfpack later.